In this recording, I'm going to show you how to do a batch download from Epic. So I'm just going to take you into Epic here. So just on your home screen here, you'll see that you're on your home screen because you have a quick links bar. If you ever need to get back to your home screen, you just need to click on the Epic logo. Uh, so if you're wanting to download a profile and print it out, if it was just one profile, you'd go to Manage Reports and down to View Print Email Completed Reports and follow the prompts, which is really easy. If you've got more than, say, two or three profiles you want to download, it's much easier to go to Batch Functions and Generate Reports for Download. Or, as I like to do, go to the Quick Links bar here. Now, you'll use these buttons probably 95% of the time and you just want to click on Batch Generate. So on this screen, you can see you've got three red dots. These indicate mandatory fields. So you just need to select the drop down. Product family is everything disk. Product, in this case, I'm going to select any workplace profile in our system. English will jump in automatically. Ordinarily, you would select a folder that you've created previously. Um, in this case, I'm just going to search or any workplace profile in the system. So I know there's only four in here. So here you can see displaying results one to four or four. There's four workplace profiles in our system. I am going to click select all, or you can just tick the boxes that you want. So click select all. On this screen, you can see file name and there's a bunch of numbers. I always like to give it a name just in case you've got a few batch downloads and you don't want it to get lost. Report content, just click check all. Report selection, always say both, unless of course you just want the supplement or just the workplace. Then click next. On this screen, it's just a summary. If you want to untick anyone at this point, you can. Uh, otherwise, just click generate batch. The system's going to give you a pop-up saying it's going to take about two minutes and you just click OK. This is then going to be uh, generating in the background. It usually says it takes longer than it really does. Um, so if it says it's going to take 15 minutes, it's probably more like five. And then you just come back to your Epic home screen here. You will receive an email once it's ready. Then you come back into Epic um, and you'll see there's a light blue bar here. Now if you can't see that, just click Epic logo again and it will refresh. Then you just want to click on the word download. And you can see Jenny test, this is one I prepared earlier. And the one I just did then is still working. You can see it's at 25%. So let's just pretend this is the one we downloaded. Click that. And you can see at the bottom here it's downloading. So once that's finished, all you have to do is click on the file and start printing.